Greetings, this is Robin's Book Club, episode number 62, Fred Herzog, Modern Colour. This book retails or has an RRP in the UK of £40 and seems to sell for about $40 in the United States. As per usual, it's quite often easy to find books for less than the RRP in the UK and I think I paid somewhere just under about £30. It was first published in 2016, it's 320 pages long. The book is hefty and is of good quality. Uh, when it was published, the aim of the uh, the people who put it together was to be the most comprehensive publication on Herzog with over 250 photos. For me, it has a very similar feel to Saul Leiter's work, and that I think is down in part to Kodachrome, which is the slide film that both photographers were using. There's a wonderful essay by David Campany. He's pretty much my favourite writer on photography. Um, yeah, he is. I, I'm just going to say he is my favourite writer on photography. I think he's absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's a really interesting... I think with Kodachrome you get reds is kind of a thing. And if you think about Saul Leiter's work, and if you look through the photos in here, reds is definitely a thing. And there's a, a really interesting essay, which I was just reading before making this video, on David Campany's website about Kodachrome and the colour red. And I will link to that essay in the notes below, so you can go and have a read of that. Um, I actually made this video, it, or recorded the, the, the video that you're seeing for this in early January 2023, and you will have noticed that it's early May 2023 when we're coming to put it all together and to publish it. Sorry about that. Uh, but it did make a, an interesting watch for me because effectively I was watching the video in the same way that you will do, and just being refreshed, reminded of various things uh, about this work. And I'm just going to throw out some keywords for you. Uh, colour palette. Well, we've kind of mentioned that, uh, that already with Kodachrome, with that slide film there. Uh, Likers, that's another thing. And Vancouver, Fred Herzog, uh, famously was um, a German fella who moved to Vancouver in the 1950s and lived there for 50 years. And I think, you know, shot an awful lot of photographs in and around Vancouver. A couple of rolls of film every week for 40, 50 years. So we can talk about themes of being dedicated of uh, of being uh, almost obsessive with a project we can also sort of reference um, the photography master's degree that I was doing where quite often the tutors and the course leaders would talk about people making successful projects which were close to home I think that could have been emotionally close to home and it could have been physically close to home and there's something about being able to repeat photograph around an area or a theme or a topic more or less at will throughout the year through different seasons as different things happen and that's very much uh, evidenced here in Herzog's body of work, which is completely timeless, by the way. The only things which give away when photographs were taken is maybe the clothes or the cars, and uh, and that's just there's just something so beautiful about his work. Uh, also, there's an essay which explains very much how these are photographs of Vancouver, but also not of Vancouver. In other words, uh, the sense of place and issues around there. So I do think it's a remarkable book, one which I would thoroughly recommend to you. It's that type of colour photography, by and large, where the colour is important. In fact, it's so important that with a lot of these photographs, you can't really imagine them in black and white. The colour is as much the subject as the subject. Although, confusingly, there are some black and white photographs in this book too. I don't quite know how that happened, but it did. Anyway, enjoy.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did. I think absolutely fantastic book. Fred Herzog, Modern Colour. Um, I'll put some affiliate links down below if you want to purchase them from a well-known online retailer, i.e. Amazon. Um, I would make a, a very small commission i guess is how that works on there uh, if you want to support the channel in other ways there is also a buy me a coffee link down below so if you felt like doing that that would be amazing i'm i'm looking to get to the point where enough of you have kindly contributed to the channel where i can buy a particular photo book and we'll talk about that another time perhaps but anyway uh, what a remarkable book as i say i hope you've absolutely loved it i think it'd be a worthy addition to your collection if you're interested in photographers who work to a theme anything about you know amazing color photographers or if you're interested in the idea of repeat photography uh, in the sense of working an area and a place over and over again for a long period of time this is a photo project this is an idea which any of us could do couldn't we you wouldn't need to be spending lots of money on slide film and and processing and all the rest of it you know you could do this with a mobile phone you could do this just by going out and about regularly around the place that you live and people often say the hardest place to photograph is the place that you know the best does Fred Herzog put the lie to that claim? Is it just laziness by us? Are we sort of got some kind of mental block which if we persevere long enough we'll overcome? Give it a go. Let me know how it works out. You can talk about it in the comments below. See you next time.